been looking into the philosophy of physics um, aspect or either financial services. So can you introduce yourself, your name please? Um, my name is Jay. What's the meaning of Jay? As in Janet, but just nicknamed Jay. Oh, okay, Janet. Okay, um, <laughs> Okay. so which country are you from? I'm from Nigeria. Oh, Nigeria, football. I, I love that. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. I have many friends, Nigerian, um, so they're all good in football. <laughs> so the lesson I learned is never play with Nigerian friends. <laughs> no, we're just too good. And I mean, our kit is just so beautiful, so the players have to step up and okay. play well. So, what's your major? I am a joint honours student and I'm studying physics and philosophy. Oh, physics and philosophy, so it's a science and arts together? Yes, exactly. Never heard that before. How are you doing? <laughs> um, it's, it's been good. It's been quite good. So why you choose this major? Um, because I, I like them both to come separately. So just trying to understand the world using the physical laws and trying to um, get to the fundamental aspects of nature using physics and um, philosophy does the exact same thing just in an, in, an ana in an analytical way and so bringing them both together just would allow me to understand the yeah, universe. I just, I just had a feeling that you chose physics that if you don't get a job in science you will get a job <laughs> in arts. That is also a massive benefit. Yeah. That is a massive benefit. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm mechatronics. Oh, nice. You, you know mechatronics? Um, yeah, that's just like mechanical electronics all put together. Yeah, so this is w what they say, that if you don't get a job in mechanical, you get a job in electrical. <laughs> so that's why I know what you said. That's very smart. And actually, this is exactly what happened. I worked for three, four years as a mechanical engineer, then and now I'm working as electrical. Oh, so which one do you prefer? I prefer both together. Both together is you know, like automation, it works together. Okay, coming back to the celebrity. <laughs> okay, so um, oh, w w what kind of job you're looking for? Are you going to be an entrepreneur? Or are you um, I am currently looking either at the research academic side of um, a career, so actually going into going further looking into the philosophy of physics um, aspect or either financial services. Mm -hmm. So two completely different um, career views, but both quite enjoyable. So the international stu you're an international student, right? Um, no, I'm not an international student because I've lived in the UK for over half my life. So I was able to come in as um, a home student. <laughs> I just noticed your accent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, that was not a good imitation and thank you for not punching me in the face. <laughs> it works. Okay. Okay. So, uh, I mean, so this means you're... You are you are the like local student, so this means you get some subsidy in your fees. Um, yeah, so I have um, my fees are the home fees, so nine thousand two hundred and fifty tuition. So just as all other EU students would be. Yeah, that's per year or per semester? Per year. Per year, and what the international students they are paying twice or thrice? Um, international students are paying, I think, um, yeah, about twice, like eighteen thousand tuition fees, maybe or like twenty. It depends on what course they do as well. But um, I think it's around that range. Okay, now coming to the question that I asked you before started recording. Why you chose Leeds? Um, I chose Leeds because I wanted a campus-based university and for it to be quite lively because I came, I'm originally from London and so London is so hectic. I didn't want to go to a university that was just a quiet town and so Leeds was um, a good balance of that. Um, as well as my course offered a lot of um, variety and options in philosophy which I also liked because I was able to um, I am able to um, pick and choose what philosophy courses I want to do while other universities would just have a lot of um, compulsory modules okay so so my understanding that you knew what you are doing I thought maybe you just <laughs> randomly get <laughs> no I knew exactly <laughs> what course I wanted to do and what options I wanted and, to and do. what's the ratio of local students and international students here based on your experience not in Leeds as a whole yeah. um, I am not for your class. sure um, for in physics and actually philosophy it's mainly um, local students there's a small percentage I would say of some international students but most of them are um, local students so home students. Which countries you have met so far? Um, I have met um, some from Asia, 
So some Asian from Asia. <laughs> Asia um, that's the word, thing. I'm not quite. Yeah. I'm not quite sure right. what country, but um, just I, maybe China. I would say I. I. It would be wrong for me to assume what country. Okay. But so, so, yeah. so what was the best part of your experience? Is it the food, the people, music, dance? Leeds. University. Of university, my be- my best part is quite academic. Um, so I know I'm, I mean I do physics and philosophy. I'm allowed to be a nerd. <laughs> um, um, so there's this thing called the Laid Law Scholarship, which is um, a scholarship which allows students to um, like pursue their own research or join onto a research project project of an academic as an undergraduate and so um, this summer I was granted the scholarship to conduct my own research and so <laughs> and so um, like for the past six weeks I have been looking at my own like conducting my own research and being in the labs and reading a lot and that's what I would say has been my the best thing about well, what's the entry requirements other than English language of course your local students are no English requirement but other than that talk about grades that's the thing. There is no entry requirements with the legal scholarship. Um, no, like in the Leeds University. In the Leeds in in Leeds University, um, my grade requirement was three A's. Yeah, yeah it was three A's, so I had to get A A A, um, and apart from that, and I had to do maths as well, and I had to do physics. So I, there were some specific subject requirements that I had to do and grade requirements. But apart from that. Anyone could apply, I think. Okay. After studies, do, what do students do here for entertainment? I mean, they just go home, study again, and sleep, or anything else going on? Um, Sheeran is here today. You know that. Sheeran is here today. Yeah. Um, I think after studies, a lot of, of a number of students. It depends what faculty you are in. A lot of students in the arts departments go into further further education, or go into education themselves, as in like teaching, or um, journalism. Um, and then sciences would mainly go into work, but then a number of them also go into I talk about the evening life. Evening life, oh, um, there's always something going on. There is so many clubbing events. There's the union every Friday, um, fruity. Um, and then there's a lot of different cafes and like small pubs, live music just around in town. And so there's, there's everything, Every, anything you'd want to do is here. What do you do? Um, I go to open like live shows. There's some quite. There's some really. I will not show this video to your parents. You can tell me. <laughs> no, I go to live shows. Yeah. Live shows are great because I play the guitar, and so I just like going to see um, a lot of them. Philosophy, <laughs> physics, <laughs> scholarship, guitar. I mean, come on, people. Why is she sitting here? We should raise. <laughs> Thank you. It happens in movies only, and here I got her. Someone. Perfect. <laughs> okay, <laughs> how many hours you spend every day to do this braiding? This braiding. This yeah, do you hear? Um, this took about nine-ish hours, I would say. <laughs> Who did it? <laughs> Myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> great, great, great. Nine, nine-ish. I mean, it can be ten also. Yeah, it could, could be ten. Could Okay. Uh, okay. So, so I mean, the, you know, there are thousands of students who apply, international students here. So, what, what do you, what is your advice to them? Should they come here or should they not come here? I mean, an, anything you want to. International students mainly. Yeah. I would advise you come here, because it's you get the best of both worlds. There are so many societies here that you will probably find someone like you, someone who understands what you're going through. The union is there to support every and all students, in no matter what they can do, and also it's just the great balance of um, being in a UK city that's very, very lively as well as not not having it overwhelm you. So if you go to a university in London, you will be overwhelmed because there's so much going on, it's easy to get lost. But with Leeds, you get that liveliness and the um, city life and the student life as well as knowing that it's quite safe. But if you look at the international ranking, you know, the London universities are ranked higher. So they are more popular among the, you know, the third world countries. Yeah, that is true. That's because there's country, there's um, universities like Imperial, UCL, LSE. So they get the top, top grades. But at the same time, Leeds still gets the top, top grades as well. And so it depends on, it does depend on what you want. But I would come in from living in London and coming to Leeds for um 
for my university, I would say that Leeds is better. It's a better balance, I would say. Oh, that, that's great. Uh, so for the new student, I mean, that's for the international, what about the local students? Any advice for them? Um, keep an open mind when coming to university, I would say. Just because university, you get so many different types of people. You get internationals, you get people from northern London that you've never met, people from south, people from Midlands that you just never m meet, people from completely different b um, backgrounds to you. It's just so good to just always say yes and keep an open mind when saying yes so that you get such a varied experience and then you'll then be able to pick what you want yourself and just enjoy everything. For uh, another question that came to mind for this, all these, you know, things, you know, maintaining your grades, getting scholarships, having social life also. How do you do, do that? What's your advice about that? Um, How many hours do you have to study and when is the time when you say, okay, to hell with it, I don't need A grade, I'm leaving? <laughs> um, I would say just to keep motivated because I can't lie, there, are been, there have been times where I'm just not bothered to do any of it, like to get up to go to lectures mm -hmm. or anything. But um, what essentially I try to do was that I try to make sure I had all my uni work done by Friday so by like Friday night when I go to sleep I've done all my coursework or like everything I need to do I'm, I'm caught up on all the lectures of the week so then my weekends I can have by myself and I can enjoy go out with friends and look for internships look for scholarships and things like that and actually do stuff outside of uni um, that is difficult but if you try actually men, try to maintain and try to do that throughout for one semester, you would have actually done so much work and you would have kept on top of all your uni stuff as well as looked for other stuff outside so you can get good balance. God bless you. Absolute pleasure. I talked to around five people today so far uh -huh. and you were the most ener like energetic, <laughs> bright, <laughs> cooperative, <you>. funny. <laughs> <laughs> like. A complete package. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you very much. And this was very fun as well. Thank you so much. And thank you very much to your friend also. She was thank very you supportive. <laughs>